Hey, it's me. It's the Steamy Bean coming at you from my um, Airbnb um, here in Saskatoon, Saskatchewan. Uh, hey, um, not too long ago, um, I was watching one of these infamous live streams from L.A. And, uh, yeah, someone gave up $500 uh, to one of the YouTubers. And and I'm watching a YouTuber getting 50 bucks, 100 bucks. And I'm wondering, oh man, um, where are they getting uh, this money from? Who who are the people sending this money? Uh, it kind of concerns me. Uh, years ago, I used to work in social services. I used to work with adults with mental disabilities. And um, people who are, um, you know, mentally ill, they get their checks and they would spend it. Like, they just had... Um, Poor, some of them had poor concepts with, uh, concerning money. Probably had more important things to worry about. Um, so anyways, I remember this uh, one woman, she got her check and she'd take a taxi, uh, literally two blocks to get a milkshake and come back. And uh, the, the ride might have been a few bucks, but she gave a $50 tip. Um, $50 bill uh, was passed to the, the driver. And I was there, and I mentioned something to the driver, like, you know, encouraging him to um, do the honorable thing and, and give it back to her. And he shrugged his shoulders and said, uh, what can I do, um, type of attitude. And the driver was smart. He kept on showing up every time. Uh, the, the government checks came out, and he prayed on that woman. Oh, and uh, every government check, she would give him a big tip for going a couple blocks to get a damn milkshake. Ah, uh, man. And, and um, you know, as, and, and I've worked with uh, folks with uh, developmental disabilities, um, you know, people with Down syndrome, et cetera, et cetera. And there, there were people that would prey on them. Um, you know, they would hang out with them during check day and they go shopping and um yeah um they would also uh what was it um yeah one time you know this this guy uh he, he you know uh they, they would this guy was a sports card collector so he would prey on this guy with develop, developmental disabilities who also collected cards and they'd go to some memorabilia shop and and the guy would buy him a few cards so, <laughs> ah, it makes it cringe. It, uh, when Dave Hughes says it's cringeworthy, it's cringeworthy in so many ways. So, I'm I'm just uh, surprising that I don't know that, that they are doing this with good conscious uh, conscience. Uh, people uh, that are accepting hundred dollars, <laughs> just think the possibilities of the source where your money is coming from. It could be coming from someone with a mental illness or a delay, and um, they might need that money for groceries or clothes. Come on, folks. Uh, you know, especially those um, YouTubers who are aware of um, people in those conditions of having a mental illness or developmental delay, someone who might be educated in, in working in social services or wants to work in social services. Yeah. It's, um, it's a bit of a wonder and, and, um, yeah, you gotta wonder why you're getting donations from people who are giving you a hundred dollars, $50, I don't have to spell it out for you. Anyways, that's all I'm saying. I'm getting off my high horse. Vlog. Ah. Fini.